All right, it's Sunday, 6.30 p.m. Gonna head out to Iron Sources Game Fest conference in Tel Aviv, Israel. Heading out the door right now. Stuff. Yo, cat, get off my stuff. Hey, get off my stuff. I gotta go. Hey, I gotta go. Hey, I gotta go. All right, just landed in Tel Aviv. Uh, definitely excited to be here at the Iron Source Conference Game Fest. Gonna start kicking it off. Dinner. It's like past midnight, first day of Game Fest. Damon, Just landed. What what is Game Fest? Game Fest is a, an annual event that Iron Source puts on, where we bring all of our clients from across the globe uh, to Tel Aviv for a few days of discussion about the industry, what's going on, trends, and then we also like to have a lot of fun as well. <laughs> so we are going to um, a hotel called Parade Sheet on Wednesday, which apparently I've never been there either. It overlooks a crater um, in the desert, so I'm looking forward to that. But I, as I'm talking to my friend Yarko here, we're talking about uh, the trends or what happened in the last year and what's what are people talking about because I think we're just getting over the hy hyper casual movement and we're starting to figure out what's next, what models are working. Right. So uh, I'm really excited to talk to all of the, uh, the developers and publishers that have come from around the world to figure out what's next. All right, great. And Yarko, so you came to Game Fest last year and you're coming again. What, what, why did you come to this conference? What's, uh, what's valuable for you at Game Fest? Well, I think it's always, always very useful to come, come together with peers and colleagues from other, other companies and put our small minds together, together and, and try to figure out ways how we could all spearhead the industry to a completely different level all, all together and, and exchange ideas, compare notes and also put more more pressure to all of our partners as well that how could also they do better than than, than ever before. Right. And then how was the uh, the hummus and falafel here? <laughs> Pretty much best ever. So we're, uh, we're at a place called Hako Sam, which is, uh, in my opinion, the best falafel you can get in Tel Aviv. Awesome. Uh, All right. Really good stuff. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Everybody, good morning from Tel Aviv. It's day one of Game Fest and definitely excited for an exciting week coming up. Uh, first time for me in Israel and uh, really, really excited about all the events and new people I'm going to meet this week. Uh, I'm going to be leading some workshops and uh, giving a talk and that's also going to be pretty cool as well. So let's get this week going. How's it going? Good. Hey, good. <laughs> can, can you tell me quickly who you are, what you do, and what are you looking forward to at Game Fest? My name is Shreyas. I work at uh, Green Panda Games. We're based out of Paris and we make hyper casual idle games. Right. Um, game Fest just gathered 120 of the top uh, people in the gaming industry across the world. So we're just excited to network and learn about what our source is picking up. Okay. And how has it been since uh, since the 70% uh, acquisition by Ubisoft? Ah, well, <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing's really changed. I mean, we're very excited to go forward with Ubisoft. This sounds like a press release at this point, but no, it's, uh, it's been great. And they've been very uh, good with us. So. Okay, cool. Brian, how's it mm -hmm. going? Mm. <laughs> good. Yep, I'm Brian Sapp, uh, oversee UA and ads at Jam City, uh, based out of Los Angeles. And it's my second time at Game Fest. For me, honestly, it's just meeting with all of my counterparts at the European companies because they all fly in, and uh, you know, a lot of the biggest puzzle gaming companies are based out of Europe. So, 
I really like catching up with uh, folks who sit in similar positions as I do. And I gotta thank you, Brian. You were like the very first day I started my YouTube channel. <laughs> you agreed <laughs> yeah. to do a, a video with, with me, so I definitely have to thank you for that. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Anytime. Right. And Andrew. <laughs> What's up, man? From Alabama. <laughs> For sure. So my name is Andrew Stone. I'm with uh, I'm a co-founder of Random Logic Games. Um, this is my second game fest as well, and uh, I'm just looking forward to meeting all of my colleagues in the industry and also enjoying Tel Aviv, which is just a wonderful, wonderful place. And you guys work on word games, right? We do. So we have some a number of popular word games. Uh, Infinite Word Search is probably our most popular game. Um, crossword Quiz, Guess the Emoji. We've got quite a large portfolio that's done quite well. Okay, great. Thanks a lot, Andrew. Good. Thanks, man. Today I'm here with the famous Mishka Katkoff. What's up, Mishka? All good, all good. What are you looking forward Am to? Am I the famous? I don't want to be <laughs> you, the famous. You are, you are the famous, Mishka, but um, what are you looking forward to most at Game Pass? <sighs> Can I be honest? Yeah. Son. <laughs> Second one is you. It okay. was great to, <laughs> to finally see you. Yeah, hanging out. We haven't hung out in a long time. Uh -huh. And um, third one is... ATVs? Oh, <laughs> ATVs are going to be awesome. And then definitely the presentations, they're going to be fun. There's right. going to be uh, some interesting stuff. Uh, but yeah, I like coming in here. Especially when it's November in Finland and we get to come here. It's like sun. I'm constantly here on the balcony of this amazing yeah, tall this skyscraper out. in Israel. Look up. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Wow. Swanky. So, yeah. All right. I, for me, it was a short trip. Actually, a long one from Kelmon with all the traffic. Guys, thank you all for coming. It I'm a UAM campaign manager and best part of Game Fest so far has been the food. Food? Absolutely. And what do you think of Angry Birds 2 the movie? <laughs> Everyone should go see it, definitely. Absolutely, yeah. alright, alright, great. My name is Oshin, uh, I work at Cyber Games. Uh, I'm the UA and uh, admin lead. Um, based out of Copenhagen, Denmark. Uh, we're a developer of uh, Subway Surfers, if anyone knows that game. Um, I think key takeaway from uh, from the conference was definitely first of all to experience uh, Tel Aviv, amazing city, yeah. and um, really here to learn you know the newest trends on on app monetization uh, and to connect with all the, the awesome people like like you guys to get uh, get to pick the brains of some uh, very intelligent people. Great. And there's big changes coming to Subway Surfers next year, right? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, <laughs> there's going to be some, some big changes, you know. I don't want to, right, right, I, right. I, I can't really announce anything okay, yet, it, but, um, okay. but yeah, okay. there's, uh, we have a lot of stuff uh, brewing at, uh, at Cyber. We're obviously exploring the, the IP of, of, um, of Subway, right. um, developed a mini game for Snapchat, yeah. which is a soft launch now. Yeah. Uh, we're also developing um, an AR graffiti app, yep. um, and then some big changes in, in Subway as well. But um, we're going to share more more about that um, in the start of, of next year. Awesome! All right, thank you very much. Cool. <laughs>
the presentation I'm going to give today is really about new game development. And the argument I'm going to make is that new game development, unlike scaling or optimizing or live ops, actually are two fundamentally different disciplines and actually require different skills, fundamentally different skills. If we were to think about this concept in terms of technology, zero to one is about creating something new, a new technology. And one to n is about scaling that technology, optimizing it, taking it from geography to geography, globalization. And so the argument that I want to make with you today is that this concept of zero to one and one to n, we can also apply to game development. And so when we think about, from a game development perspective, new game development is about finding a, a new global maxima, right? Finding like a big new opportunity, whereas the other discipline in terms of uh, scaling, reskinning, optimization is more about incremental maximization. And so the focus of the present presentation today is really going to be about this part, the new game development. And so I'm going to make an argument that these two disciplines are separate. And then I'm also going to talk about some of my own personal theories in terms of how you can maximize a potentially successful outcome when you're working on new game development. Hi, I'm Anel. I work at uh, Wildlife, so I'm the VP of Ad Monetization. Okay. Uh, what I like the most is just like a group of old friends getting all together and just hanging out and okay. sharing the, the like, like just hanging with like-minded people and sharing the ideas. Right. And what's next for you? Like, what are you working on specifically at Wildlife? Um, we're working on a couple of new titles, but we just launched a tennis game, which yeah. is doing really well. Check it out, it's called Tennis Clash. All right, Tennis Clash, all right. Okay. My name is Mario Winans. I'm the CEO of Pickpock, a uh, publisher based in New Zealand. Yeah. Um, it's my first game fest, my first time to Israel, my first time to the Middle East, so uh, a lot of it's a blur, but uh, loving the uh, transparency we're getting with uh, Iron Source, uh, the information, the roadmap, it's, uh, it's great to connect with everybody we normally only connect with uh, over email or, or the phone. Right. And there have been a lot of thick, great pickpock games over the years. What's your favorite pickpock game? Uh, I think I, I like our Into the Dead franchise. I mean, okay. that's, uh, that's something I, I helped ideate, and uh, it's been our most successful franchise. So, nice. um, you know, we're, we've been building it out, and uh, I'm really excited to see where that can go over the next few years. All right, let me get a shot of your pickpock t shirt there. There we go. All right, Gary. Yeah, I'm Gary from Dual Card. I'm the founder of the company that we started one year ago, based in France, doing hyper casual. Uh, what I like the most about uh, game based is networking, obviously, and trying to get the secret of competitors. Not the main thing. Yeah, and then why are there so many hyper casual companies in Paris? Um, I think maybe for three reasons. The, the first one is the, the culture in France about gaming with Ubisoft, Gameloft, and my, many like huge studios. Uh, the second one might be uh, Vodou and Ketchup, like leading us. Yep. And the third one is uh, like more like than France is European like business. So it also have a lot of European publishers. So that is the reason. Great, thank you. Okay.
Aaron Chan, um, Senior Manager of User Acquisition and Ad Monetization at Warner Brothers Games. It's my first year at Game Fest, I'm having a blast, meeting a lot of great people in the industry, uh, having a great time with our partners. And yeah, I look forward to coming again next year. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. It's day three here at Game Fest, uh, and all the activities and talks have ended yesterday. So I gave my talk yesterday and uh, had a really good time meeting a lot of folks and hearing their experiences. It's been really, really great here. Uh, today it's, it's all about fun. We're gonna go out on ATVs today uh, and then have a big closing party. So should be should be pretty good times. Hey guys, I'm Laura Shahar. I'm from uh, Iron Source from San Francisco, um, and I uh, run the team there. I am. A, I had a really good time so far with the in Game Fest, and my favorite moment was for sure dancing with the guys on the. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we got Scott. Hi, it's Scott Konigsberg, uh, SVP of Product at Zynga. Um, I would say by far my favorite moment so far at Game Fest was hanging out with everyone and seeing the passion everyone has for gaming and getting to know everyone, the, the, sense, the real sense of community at this event, it's, it's pretty awesome. All right, cool, thank you. I'm Bruno Matera, I'm the CEO and founder of Mammoth Media. We have two apps, publishing two apps. One is called Wishbone, the other one is called Yarn. All content-driven apps, monetized through ads, subscription, and IAP. Uh, mostly focused on Gen Zs, so a younger audience. Uh, and my best time here is actually, I, I had two, I had meeting people, a lot of really smart people, learning a lot from them. And I think the, uh, the other one was uh, really all the talk around hypercasual. And okay. is hypercasual the next, is that gonna, the bubble burst or is it just the beginning of a very big next gaming, but like I don't know how to call it, like this next gaming thing. Right. But uh, so it's, it's been a lot of good talks around that, that topic. Right, everyone, you've had a pretty interesting entrepreneurial career starting a bunch of different companies. Yep. What would you say is the most important characteristic to be successful at entrepreneurship? Uh, I would say never give up. Okay. I think that's one of the big thing. It's too easy to give up when you hit the wall. Right. And usually when you hit the wall, this is when you really can learn and make decisions that may make you even bigger. Got it. So never give up and, and embrace, embrace the challenge. Okay. All right, thank you very much. No problem, thank you. I'm a Bitmango CEO. Yes. Yeah, Bitmango is uh, the focus on their puzzle game. Right. Yeah, our slogan is uh, we make puzzles. Right. And so, what are some of your uh, top games? Top game is uh, World Cookie. World Cookie, right. Yeah, and World of Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we are very early stage uh, development studio and publishing department right. in the service. Yeah. So I want to uh, learn more about this industry. Right. And so. then we had a talk last night where you talked about your role as CEO of Bitmango. Could you say just a little bit about your, your role as CEO? Yeah. yeah, my role is a CEO. Yeah, I think his CEO is uh, the chief education officer. Right. So uh, I'm good at the playing puzzle game and OAC, even though it's a mobile game. I, I'm not good at the, uh, developing mobile games, uh -huh. but uh, I'm enjoying the, uh, the running my business. Because I think it's running the business is kind of playing role-playing game. Right, right. So my role is uh, the making up the, the self-learning environment yeah. in terms of uh, machine learning is uh, the reinforcement uh, learning environment. Right. So uh, now is uh, the, my main focus is um, to develop the system level design of a role playing game. Right. So uh, I, I need uh, yeah, to learn more 10 years to be a triple A development studio. Right. So yeah, I have a lot of things to do. Right. You know? So you're basically saying you're treating your company like a role playing game and you're creating the systems to achieve that goal of becoming a triple A. Oh, right. 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 Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye bye, Desert. Desert Hotel.
What's up, dude? Hello. Maybe not. Uh, my name's Ollie Christie, and I'm founder and chief exec of Neon Play. And uh, what kind of games do you guys make? We make hypercultural games. We've been games since 2010. Our first game is Flick Football, and recently we've had hits like Roller Splat, Soccer Kick, Booker, Cannon Man, and Rattle Tap Strongman. And what has been your favorite part of Game Fest? Oh, man, it's, it, everything's been awesome. I think Iron Source have been a phenomenal host. They've put on a great show for us. Some brilliant talks, very insightful, really made you think, which I think a good conference does. And then phenomenal networking with you know, genuinely the top selected studios in the world at a very senior level. Um, and a lot of partying as well. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Ollie. At a winery here with a bunch of ATVs. All right. Getting ready to go on our ATVs. So, hello, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> My name is Daniel. Welcome to our please. fucking recovery. Is a bitch. All right, guys, are we uh, are we ready to roll here? Yarko, you gonna oh, drive as fast as possible? Oh, Pedal to the metal. <laughs> born ready. Yeah, exactly. Born ready. That shit. Yeah. All right, we're getting about ready way. to go. Yarko, you ready? Let's do this. All right. <laughs> I'm the CMO of Cody Games. Uh, we develop uh, uh, idle games. What's the, what are the most uh, popular games that you guys have out? Uh, so we uh, released a few months ago uh, Idle Theme Park uh, and also Idle Supermarket Tycoon. Oh, you guys are the Idle Theme Park guys. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I, I like that game. Um, and what was your favorite part of Game Fest? Uh, I think that the best thing is that you know to meet a uh, lot uh, of new people that also work on the mobile game, yeah. uh, and share knowledge and, and you know insights about the industry. That that's amazing. And what do you think of the ATV ride so far? Uh, I think it's great. I mean, it's a, a, <laughs> an amazing experience. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. I am uh, Chenille from Huffbrick Studios. I'm the CEO. Okay, and uh, what uh, I mean, it's been a, it's been you know kind of a few years since um, we've heard uh, a lot about Halfbrick. What's what's like the most recent news in terms of what you guys are doing and um, what's happening at Halfbrick? Uh, well, we just announced that we're releasing a new game uh, this month. Uh, it's called Magic Brick Wars. So look out for it later this uh, month. And we've just been busy working on new games. So the next six months are going to be pretty busy for us with new releases. Awesome. And what did you like most about Game Fest? Uh, just meeting so many smart, talented uh, developers and learning from them. So that's, that's the best thing. Okay, great, thank you. Thank you. part about uh, Game Fest? I really loved uh, the ATV rides, those were awesome. Uh, but I think my favorite part was definitely the presentations. Uh, definitely learned a lot. One on ones with a lot of the uh, individuals here, great contributors, and very, very smart people here at Game Fest. Uh, incredible show, 
and uh, really look forward to seeing Game Track next, next year in 2020. All right, awesome. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, everybody. It's day four. Yesterday was the last day of Game Fest, which is pretty awesome. I still have a couple of days left here in Tel Aviv, but um, yeah, gonna gonna meet Mishka for for breakfast and uh, kind of uh, recount Game Fest. All right, so that's a wrap <laughs> for Game Fest 2019, Mishka. What are your top few takeaways or thoughts about mm -hmm. the conference? Well, I'll go with the uh, three, three okay. ones. So um, naturally, I would say the overall how this is arranged, where yeah. it's arranged, the type of uh, facilities where we're at is uh, five star. <laughs> I'll yep. give it five star. Yep. Uh, overall, and like everything from the buses to the, to the location where we're at, just fantastic. The food and, and walnuts. Okay, so that's one. Uh, of course, not the most important, but but very much appreciated. Right. Uh, the second is definitely the quality of attendees. Right. So there's not a lot of people. I think like 125 or something. Right. But the quality of 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 uh, the selection that they did. Yeah. So conversations keep very interesting. Right. Uh, the insights are real. There's not you know there's no vendors in the sense. Yeah. Iron Source is the only one. Right. So there's everybody from different studios around the world. And, and you can have just amazing, insightful conversations, especially after a couple of drinks. Uh, <laughs> they become very interesting. And finally, I would say we had two full days of talks, yeah. a lot of learnings. And if I would have to pick one that was, uh, for me personally, about everything else, uh, and I'm dismissing your presentation <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but I would say it was uh, Scotty Case. Uh, was, Scott is, um, Scott Kersberg is the uh, Zingas CPO. Yep. And he, he walked through Zynga's m &A approach, right. uh, how they screen for, for studios, not in the sense of numbers, but the culture and approach. They, they kind of like the soft element and right. how they how they employ that soft element in M&A and how important that soft element is. Right. It was super insightful. Took a lot of notes. I uh, really appreciate his talk. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, that was that was uh, the best out of all the great talks. So um, what was your top three? Yeah, so for me, so I agree with you that the quality of the attendees was really high, but I think not only that, I think it's the, the quality of the relationships, right? If mm. you think about life, life is about relationships, and it's not like you have an opportunity to like be forced into like a, a week with different people, right? Like the type of discussion, the type of relationship you can build with someone you're forced to be together mm. with for a week is different from seeing someone in an office context yeah. or over lunch or over coffee. It's, it's very different, right? And so, so the quality of relationships and the type of discussions we had were really different. And in terms of talks, I thought Dan Greenberg's talk in terms of creative from Iron Source was excellent. He did a great job. Um, you know, uh, Warren also had a really good talk. But um, yeah, and I, I think finally it's just hearing the different stories. Like you meet different kinds of companies mm -hmm. And all of them are finding different ways of being successful in the market, right? So like the different strategies, how they're being their business, how they're operating their teams, all have different, you know, approaches, nuances, flavors. And so hearing about all of that in this kind of relaxed, casual environment that you normally can't get yeah. elsewhere was really, really cool. So if you would have to rate this conference? Oh um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, four stars, yeah. Four, four out of five? <laughs> four out of four stars. Oh, four out of four stars. <laughs> what is a four star rating? <laughs> but yeah, it's good, it's good. Yeah, I, I would do the same. This is um, this is perhaps the best conference I've been at. Yeah, I would say so. Just Great. like the, uh, the overall package. Um, interesting to see what they come up with next year, because I was here last year and I thought it was fantastic. And this year it was like, above all expectations so now the expectations are like uh, even higher high. for 2020 yeah because now it's like insane right uh but you know you know overall like even if it's something like this or even if it's something like last year it's still so good. four out of four or five out of five in my book <laughs> so you know iron source keep it going truly enjoyed it uh, big fans of, of game fest mm -hmm. and um yeah we're just happy to be here all right so from tel aviv Wrapping up uh, Game Fest 2019. Yeah. So, it's a wrap. <laughs> uh, so, my name is Maya. I'm a game director at Jelly Button Games. I've been there for the past seven years. Love games, love the industry. And, uh, hey, I'm Barack Sheriff, uh, lead game designer at Jelly Button Games. Been there for like five years now. Right. Uh, that's it. Love games, 
yeah. hardcore gamer. Right. And can you tell me about uh, the games you guys are working on now? Like maybe so. There's there's Pirate King, which I'm sure everybody. Is so we have Pirate with. King, we have Board King, we have a few new things that we're working on. Actually, Brack has a game in Softlaunch. Yeah, it calls uh, Merge Stories, yeah. which is on Softlaunch uh, on Google. Yeah. Only. No, I guess. Sorry. How's it looking so far? Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking <laughs> okay, good great, for great, soft lunch. Uh -huh. uh, we have some major features we want to put inside. So uh -huh. in a couple of months, we'll be ready for a uh, full release. Great. And then Maya, what did you like most about Game Fest? I love meeting new people, especially other product and game lovers from around the world. Talking to them, talking games. like. It's amazing. It doesn't happen uh, as much as zero that as we'd like it to. Okay. All right. Great. Thanks, guys. Thanks. All right, guys. That's it. Into the uh, well, I'm at the airport now, and uh, finally heading home.